champions. Now, if there's one thing that everyone's been looking forward to on this show, it's a charming, charismatic bloke from the Northeast who always has the audience rolling in the aisles. That's very nice of you, but I'm only good because you're good. No, I'm not, I'm not actually talking about you. Not you. I'm talking about the winner of BGT last year. A talented comedian who's won awards, published books, and toured the country. Rude. Yes, it's Lost Boy Sky. The winner of Britain's Got Talent 2018 is Lost Boy Sky. Winning Britain's Got Talent was the best moment of my life. It also made people think differently about those with disabilities and cerebral palsy. I've got so much love from everyone, and I'm really grateful for it all. Since winning the show, I have decided it might be time for a fresh new voice. I'm struggling with the second album syndrome, so today I'll be holding auditions to see if anyone can be the new voice of Lost Voice Guy. Mind the gap. Damn it, that's the wrong button. Okay then, let's go for a take. I won! Britain's Got Talent! I was the first comedian to ever do that. I still can't believe it. In fact, I'm still speechless. Next. After my success, I've published my autobiography, had sell-out tours, and of course, the Royal Variety performance. Now that I've hit the big time, nothing will shut me up unless there's a power cup. It changed my life forever. I wanted to make sure I looked the part, so I dressed my iPad in a tuxedo, all right? Stick to the day job. All in all, it's been a crazy year since winning BGT. So, have I got it? Have I got the part? Oh, sorry. Did you say something? I was just playing Tetris. Going back out on the Britain's Got Talent stage will be really nerve-wracking, but it would mean the world to get the nod from the British public again. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be here again. Winning Britain's Got Talent the last year changed my life completely. But, as you can see, I haven't let it go to my head. I invested the money wisely, and now I get driven around everywhere, in a mobility scooter, like a disabled version of the Pope. In fact, I'm proud to say that, I'm that famous now, that Apple have given me my own emoji. <laughs> if I don't make it into the final, I'm going to put a brave face on it. I spoke to Simon's plastic surgeon, and he said it would cost five grand. Yeah, and the rest. I was born in Newcastle, but my accent is from PC World. <laughs> when I was little, my parents sat me down and explained to me that I couldn't talk like other people. I thought I was really special. Then I realized that every Geordie child had the exact same conversation. <laughs> like most Geordie children, my dad wanted me to grow up to be a football player for Newcastle United. But my reflexes have never been good enough to play football. In fact, my reflexes <laughs> Rubbish. He's so good, I love 
welcome. Before I go, I'm afraid I've got something I want to confess. I'm prepared to admit that, to my great shame, on a couple of very isolated occasions, I did exploit my disability to persuade a woman to kiss me. And I would like to apologize to those women now. Debbie, and Maria, what can I say? I am so very, very sorry. And Michelle, sorry to you. And Jane, Jessica, Sinead, Alice, Jane again for that second time. Paula, Trina, Isabella, Charlotte, Emily, Jane, for that third time in the kitchen, Emma, Olivia, Sophie, Rose, and Jasmine, that was at the same time, so you can share an apology. Abby, Zoe, Penelope, Lillian, Haley, Grace, Rebecca, and Rebecca's mum that other time. But not Brenda. Brenda can do one. You. Oh, Lee, I love you so much. You had us all in the palm of your iPad from start <laughs> to finish. And the whole bit you did about reflexes, it showed you've got, like, incredible comic timing. You are a very funny man, and this is a very special act, and I'm so pleased you're here tonight. I'd love to see you in the final. Oh, Lee, you are so naughty, and I love it. I love how edgy your comedy is. I think you winning Britain's Got Talent was groundbreaking. I'm so thrilled for you, and I really hope the audience gets behind you, because I would love to see you in the final. You deserve it. I couldn't agree more. Tonight, you smashed it again. It just keeps on coming. You've got funny bones, and I love you. Congratulations. Genuinely, I mean this, Lee. I think this was the funniest performance you've done in all the years that we've seen you. And what makes me laugh is, is that because you know the joke coming up, you're laughing at your own jokes before we <laughs> hear them, which is something I do. I mean, I always find myself funny. But it's that which really cracks me up. And the fact, again, that you've come back and recompeted, you've given yourself a shot at the finals here, Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Oh, welcome back, Lee. Welcome home. It's great to have you here. Um, how has life changed for you since you won BGT in 2018? One of the best things to happen since I won is that people are engaging with me a lot more than they would have in the past. I'm used to being stared at for negative reasons, so it's nice to be stared at for positive reasons for a change. <laughs> Good answer. It's true. Good answer. Once again, let's hear it again for the amazing Lost Voice Guy! 